Pima County Sheriff's deputies say they have a person of interest in Monday's suspicious death near Kinney Road and Gates Pass Road. Deputies say they found 26 year old David Moreno with signs of trauma from a car crash. He died at the scene. Well, Tucson police say no arrests have been made in Sunday's double homicide near 22nd and Prudence. TPD says officers were called to a shooting at the Tierra Sol Tierra Luna apartment. That's where they found two brothers shot. 34 year old Michael Espinoza died at the scene while his 30 year old brother Mark died at the hospital. Well, now to a newlyweds nightmare. Not long after they say I do, a Tucson couple was shocked to learn their home was ransacked and robbed. None of your sides, Brooke Chow joins us live in the newsroom. Brooke, you got to learn about their experience and now their word of caution to others. Yes, good morning. Titus and Jane Kahn tell me that when they came home from their honeymoon, their apartment was ransacked with all of their wedding gifts were missing. Uh, the young couple says they moved from Oregon to Tucson shortly after their wedding. After dropping off their wedding gifts and personal belongings at the apartment, they left to their honeymoon in Florida. And while on their honeymoon, they say maintenance called and asked them for permission to enter and fix the AC. The couple said yes, but when they returned, the apartment was ransacked and the AC was still not fixed. The couple says only apartment maintenance had access to their home while they were gone. We were just, yeah, we were upset. We were like, holy cow, we you like, know. Did we leave our place like this? Yeah, it, I mean. Then we realized everything valuable, wedding gifts were gone. We we're like, yeah. what do we do? Yeah. The couple notified Tucson police who said there were no signs of forced entry. I contacted the San Mateo apartments who tell me that corporate is handling the situation. And I also reached out to corporate and we are still waiting for a response. And the couple tells me that they've been staying at a different Airbnb every single week until they could find a different place to live. They are just hoping to raise awareness to other renters to be safe when they're not in their home. Live in the newsroom, Brooke Chow, Kega 9 on your side.